Gear Box Pizza. All right, I admit it. I was heavy into researching this other electric motorcycle when I randomly stumbled upon something that completely grabbed my attention. So much so that I pretty much had to stop looking at that other bike altogether. And that something is this, the Grunt, made by a company called Volcon. And how cool is this thing? Welcome back to Gearbox Pizza Gang. So we've mostly been focusing on cars, but we also love riding on two wheels as well. Several of us ride here, so we're naturally a bit curious about electric motorcycles, and we hope to cover that space in more detail in the future. Anyway, the Grunt. So obviously this thing is fully electric, and obviously it's pretty awesome. Yeah, look, I'm sort of a sucker for fat wheels on a bike, and personally I've got an old Harley 48 in the garage as proof of that fat wheel love. And I'll be honest, even though I've had several fully electric cars, I've never really considered an electric motorcycle, but Maybe that's about to change as there's actually several very cool electric bikes that should be hitting the streets very soon. Okay, so back to the grunt. So what exactly is this bruiser of a bike? Well, it's a pretty easy to operate electric motorcycle and compared to their gas counterparts, most electric motorcycles are just much easier and simpler to operate. With no gears, no clutch, no gas, no oil, and almost no noise, along with a pretty low seat height, this guy should be pretty easy to hop on and just ride, even if you have very little or no experience riding motorcycles. All right, so let's talk about the motor and battery. So the Grunt's pretty unique motor is very much designed for torque and lots of it, and I mean lots. I mean, how 75 pound feet of torque for something that weighs 330 pounds? Yeah, that's some serious muscle right there. Now, it's gonna be quick, but that top speed's actually pretty modest at about 40 miles an hour. And look, I know, feels a bit slow for a beast like this, right? Well, look at those tires. I really don't think you wanna be taking this thing on the freeway. This is an off-road machine, and 40 miles an hour off-road is plenty fast if you ask me. Also, both the motor and the battery are IP67 rated, which basically makes this whole thing just about waterproof. So that's awesome. All right, battery wise, things here are a bit interesting. You see, this girthy fella comes with a single two kilowatt hour battery that should be good for about 40 miles of range. You a little bummed about this? Ha, well, here's some good news. There's space for a second two kilowatt hour battery that Volcon will gladly sell you that'll up the range all the way up to a very livable 75 miles. Volcon is saying that each battery should take about two and a half hours to fully recharge, which is fine. Actually, initially I found this whole double battery thing to be a little bit odd, but I suppose there's a pro here and that's the ability to charge both batteries at the same time. Yeah, look, it might not really mean much, but I thought it was worth mentioning. All right, let's talk about the chassis. So the Grunt features Volcon's unique eco arch frame design. Apparently the triple cradle frame and the cast aluminum swing arms are just about bulletproof. This guy's also a little bit of a shorty pie. Yeah, a bit of a low rider and that lower center of gravity makes this thing both easy to ride and very maneuverable for an electric motorcycle. And factor in these huge tires and you should be able to soak up those bumps like a boss. All right, so are you sold? Yeah, I sort of am. But how much is this little bruiser gonna run you? Well, how's about eight grand? Look, it's not exactly cheap, but personally I think it's cool enough to command that price and maybe even a bit more if I'm being honest. And well, here's the catch though. You see, as amazing as this thing is, it is not currently street legal, which is a huge bummer. I really, really think this would make a very cool commuter bike. And yeah, those tires would just be way overkill for nice clean pavement, but hey, I'm not sure where you live, but spend the weekend riding around on a motorcycle and you will quickly realize how many potholes and crappy patches of pavement just litter the roadways. Also, with tires like that, I bet you this thing would do pretty well in the rain and would probably be just all sorts of stupid fun in the mud and the snow. To me, this could be the absolute go anywhere, little commuter of a bike. So plenty of range at 75 miles and two batteries you can charge at the same time makes serious mileage days a real possibility. There's just that whole not being street legal thing. And look, I'll admit I am not super up to speed as to what dictates roadworthiness of a motorcycle. Would it even be possible to convert something like this to being street legal? I mean, 
I'm guessing it's probably not a huge deal based on the much crazier looking quote unquote street legal motorcycles you'll see here in Southern California. Anyway, I'm gonna be looking into this, but let me know if you guys would like a follow up video with my findings here. So that's the grunt, a pretty compelling and girthy go anywhere of a two wheeler and I kind of just really want one. <laughs>